Hi all, I have another amazing game of leaders to show you from the mighty TSAC Season 14 Division 1. This is against Fizbo, who up until this point in the tournament had only lost one game. So a very, very solid engine indeed. We have Leela playing D4. The opening book given to them is actually the King's Engine Defense 4 Pawns Attack because it is four pawns which seem attacking c5 this is the end of the book now Leela plays d5 we have e6 d takes f takes g3 knight c6 bishop g2 e5 f takes d takes and now the queens come off queen takes rook takes Leela castles rook b8 b3 bishop g4 h3 so prompting quite a forcing continuation now after rook d3 hitting c3 in return knight d5 bishop takes rook takes and now this check rook f1 rook takes king takes knight h5 and here is a critical moment really uh which transitions into a really interesting end game if white plays g4 then knight f4 is quite nice for black uh, that bishop just really wants to be liberated on this diagonal it's annoying there are holes in white's position that's annoying instead Lila chooses this to play bishop f3 a pawn sacrifice to get a very interesting end game where it seems at all times this bishop is hemmed in in one way or another by its own pawns on dark squares statistically there are at the moment two pawns on dark well three on dark squares so let's see this pawn sacrifice in action the pawn is taken and now knight h5 and now bishop takes h5 g takes bishop g5 we have knight d4 bishop e7 trying to put another pawn on a dark square that's refused uh, instead of bishop f8 bishop h4 bishop g7 Bishop e7 again and again and now rook f1 rook f8 so we transition a little bit further potentially off the check knight f5 here Fizbo does commit to another pawn on a dark square so in terms of end game transitioning uh, if you look at the pawns here white's pawns are all on light squares blacks on the dark squares here so the same color as the bishop but this bishop can attack the opponent's pawns and these pawns are just not seen by the bishop so is this an advantage knight takes d4 so technically black after e takes d4 is a pawn up so we have a kind of very interesting end game question here is white actually better what what would you think you might want to pause the video and think about that uh, but here yeah Leela goes for it more simplification rook takes f8 so we have this raw bishop ending bishop g3 with the idea of hitting starting to hit these pawns now uh, we have bishop e7 bishop b8 a6 now the bishop has to be careful not to be trapped bishop a7 there might be bishop d8 for example so we have actually bishop c7 and the idea here is to create an outside past pawn after b5 the idea now is revealed c takes and takes a4 so an outside past pawn is being created here and note there's also the idea of bishop e5 check on c4 c4 is played check and now bishop takes d4 so okay for the moment black also has a pass pawn here but it's blockadable so white has now two passed pawns on a5 and e4 but this is blockadable this extra pawn here is just of technical interest only really so is this difficult for black bishop c5 a tactical move now clearly if taking them b2 queening so we have bishop b2 <clears throat> king f7 king f8 king e8 king e2 king d7 king d3 bishop f2 bishop g7 
the king might want to try and get to the b2 square. But now actually we have e5, h4, a6. Yeah, the king's already facing some issues here. Can't really go for this pawn without allowing the e pawn to run. b4, stopping the king c3 route. King d2 as if king c1 to b2. But now bishop e3, this bishop's immune. If it's taken, then b2 wins for black. So king d1 forced, king d5. And now bishop h6, so saying to black, if you take, then I play a7, queening myself. Any b2, there's always king c2. So it's a problem like possession here. We have bishop c5, and our bishop f4 holding securely that e5 pawn. So white still has these two passed pawns, and this is either blockadable or winnable, basically. Uh, we have bishop d4, king c1, king e6, king b1. So the blockade has been set. b2 is committed to bishop h6. This is technically possible, and it's very, very interesting now. Either way, loses for black of taking e5. If king takes, then we just play the check. Then take on d4. And if bishop takes, then there's a7. So the pawn is immune on e5. We have bishop b6. And yeah, it's it's a big problem, this position. And so bishop g7 holding the e5 pawn, bishop d4. Bishop f8 now, and this introduces something very, very nice into the position. I assume during the stream that maybe black's in a in another form of Zugzwang. There's a very concrete idea on the board here of bishop d6, bishop b8, and a7 winning. Very, very concrete. Uh, an attempt to sort of try and Zugzwang black into doing something. Uh, doesn't really go that far with e6. I thought this might be an idea. For example, here, bishop f2 is sufficient. Uh, for example, taking here, and this is only an even position. There's nothing to write home about here. So this is very, very concrete winning idea. Bishop d6 to b8. We have bishop f2, bishop d6, bishop d4. And now, actually, in this position, in fact, bishop b8 does seem actually possible, but bishop takes b4 was chosen. Uh, just to put this on the board, uh, king d5, a7. This position is actually uh, winning for white. White will just mop up all of black's pawns and has the right color here of the bishop uh, to be able to unblockade later. So white just scoops up all the pawns and wins that. So yeah, black is in a bad state here. Bishop takes b4 though. Now on king takes here, there's bishop c3 is a neat move to try and distract the bishop away, you know, a7. So or taking then a7. So yeah, very, very difficult for black. Losing position now. Bishop a7, bishop c3. So the white king is going to eliminate black's, or the bishop, eliminate black's pass pawn there and now it's very very easy now so king d3 is the final move of the game the game actually ended here on king c6 as an example well it's basically two extra pawns up bishop d4 for example king comes in and black's black is just overloaded here yeah all these endings are basically are winning because white has the right bishop the king's miles away on e7 anyway so it's totally a winning position so a really fantastic win there to give a greater gap now a two point gap uh, over the field at the moment so Leela leading the mighty division one of TSEC season 14 so if you enjoyed this game video then please click on the top left box which should appear shortly to become a member at chessmod.net play against other YouTubers. You can also check the YouTube analysis of these games in advance from the improved menu learn for the Masters YouTube order button. Comments, questions, donations, see the description, like, share, subscribe with the notification bell, really appreciated. And there's a new Teespring store, see the description for form porn and other chess t-shirts. Okay, thanks very much.